Oiê! Oiê! Trina Christine Mason here, triple checking my teeth, making sure there's nothing in there because I don't really have a companion with me or anyone to actually tell me the truth. So a lot of my conclusions have to be made on my own. So today I have a journey to take you on and much of it is many, many stories, okay? And know that I am no filter right now, meaning there's no scripts, no planned agenda, no bullet points, nothing, no rehearsal, etc. Okay, there's some staged makeup, we got like some funkiness going on, I got my hat from Bellingham, Washington, we're gonna get into that. I have so many videos that are waiting to be uploaded, and oh my god, like this place says CKY, Few of you know what CKY stands for, right? And I do not encourage you to do that to yourself, okay? Wow. <laughs> this is your Dudas Priestess. For those of you that don't know, I am Trina Christine Mason, and I am. I am. There are many labels and things people wish to put upon me, and I have, over time and in my youth, attempted to label and analyze and judge things and created a space for myself where I have in the past and am presently, basically currently, right, still like labeling and analyzing the self constantly and all, which is something I am attempting to be more mindful of. However, many times it happens on its own. Therefore, I take pride in making meditation my family and connecting to the divine source, God, I am. <laughs> the irony of that that sounded together. <sighs> there are few who will truly understand everything that I say. And I know I try to make it fun. And trust me, I know I'm not a saint yet, right? <laughs> uh, is it Navarti? N-I-V-R, I can't spell. <laughs> I've been obsessively reading my Bapaji book. I am processing so much data, okay? So on February 4th, I left the state of Florida and I went to Bellingham, Washington to visit my love. And it was very enlightening spending time together and all I could see was my own reflection, and I like to say that I was in deep Vipassana, which I imagine to mean self-study, yet that's not really what it means, okay? So look up Vipassana. Vipassana isn't always a silent retreat. However, I did exercise and practice silence to an extent. And practicing ahimsa, nonviolence, and doing that and practicing restraint and working with observances, the yamas and niyamas, right? And uh, this Babaji book has been really, really insightful for the way that I am attempting to rebuild or regenerate myself. So I can also say that I'm in a state of building. So. Where do I begin, right? Like, I'm just in sensory overload. I just had the greatest birthday, greatest Valentine's Day, and I understand Valentine's Day is also Lupercalia, and I understand what it actually represents and all the other historical significance and all the things that actually mankind has made out of devotion, out of this holiday, whether whatever it means to somebody else. That's also quite fascinating, right? There's people getting married on this holiday and making it a significant holi holy, holy day, right? Holy day. I always thought neurolinguistics is fascinating and I'm kind of obsessed with thinking. So that is what has led me to discovering all these new things and it is taught that a saint puts all of their uh, I need the Bapaji book but it's basically like where we put up all of our failures and like we we don't hide we don't hide 
I, it's really hard to translate into my own words and I would love to share some excerpts from the Pilgrimage of Love book number two. Book number one was also phenomenal and there's some great anecdote stories in there that just make me cry. I like scream and I cry at the same time. It's just like so emotional. And um, let's go backwards, shall we? Okay, we can move on to... So I've been going through a lot of like interpersonal turmoil, okay? And like these are things that just like I go in and out of all the time. And a lot of it is generated from the mind, right? Like the mind will start to think like I am worthless if I am not working or I am, I don't know, okay? Like there's all these like, I understand that they're all subconscious, okay? So like even though you don't want to accept and recognize that I have difficulty allowing myself to receive pleasure. Okay, let's use that as an example. Like, many people won't always, like, notice that. It's complicated. It's very complicated. And it's ever-changing. And it's my own personal dilemma. And I know my faults. And I am the only one, right? I mean, there are people who can point out things that I don't think that are wrong, that they think are wrong. And then I can have like deep insight into myself and to feel into like what feels right or if that's appropriate or like what that person might be going through and projecting upon me Uh, just sensory overload just we all have things that we are ashamed of or that we don't understand or that we are growing in And I just, I have this subconscious belief system that says if we just, like, all share our problems with one another, that, like, the other guy is going to know because he's already been through it. You know what I mean? Am I eating lipstick yet? (laughs) But that's my intention, to heal and to grow and to share and to, like, take steps so other people don't have to take steps that way, if that makes sense. Though also, like going the path that feels right for me and there are many things that have just felt really great for me and that so many people have just tried to tell me no stay away you can't do that no no you know what do you think that does to a little child's mind I mean that's the subconscious mind right There's so many different levels of things I need to get into, and I'm getting visions of them, though there's, like, proper structure that is necessary. A lot of disgust with humanity, and a lot of, like, disgust with the self with not really knowing and understanding, right? Like, how can I have judgment and perception about things I don't really know about, you understand? Or, like, have my own assumptions and reading between the lines and then thinking that I'm right. Like, creating, again, a false belief system. Fear. False evidence appearing real. Right? Okay? So, a lot of the ways that I like to lead... I almost wanted to call this a darshan. (laughs) But, like... uh, No. (laughs) Trina's ego needs to, like, swell down. (laughs) Though, like... um, my heart is just so full of like devotion and this eagerness to share with you so that you can feast upon this too and know that this infinite well is there for you a lot of it has to do with taking power over your mind and recognizing your subconscious belief systems which is why I attempt to tithe or just give my time and my energy to those who sincerely need it And I can feel so many people reaching out and I'm not saying that I can heal and that I can help and I can make everything better. I am not swearing to be your guru, your G-U-R-U. I can be a great mirror and I understand I can provide a great service. However, just know that it's a co-creation and I can only do like what we do together, if that makes sense, right? It's like a dance. Like, are we going to build a house together? Or am I going to be building the house and then you're tearing apart the floorboards? You know what I mean? Like, are we on the same page? Do we care about the same things? Are you willing to let me build something even if it has nothing to do with you? 
you know, there's like a lot of different introspections occurring. The power of thought is so important. And I'm learning it the hard way in many ways. And again, the feeling sick and disgusted part by my own thoughts. like how they think that money is everything or that they think that somebody is everything you know like they worship the person oh the extremities oh man I just realized something go ahead go ahead I had the realization that I did not bring my car charger Ooh, that's okay. Ah, uh, like I'm in this process of work. Ah, <laughs> uh, work, 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 work. Rents due. Rents due. Got pay. Food. Fridge is empty. Completely empty. I just like spent so much money, right? Going to Washington. You going? You can go. Ah, oh, what a glory it is to be alive. I'm holding so much space for so many people. I can, I can barely take it. Oh, go ahead, 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 go ahead. That's not the crosswalk, but that's fine. Go ahead too. Go ahead too. Ah, <sighs> the life. So, Babaji is teaching a lot about food right now and about, <sighs> God, I can't remember the name. It's a Sanskrit word. It's really hard. Math, 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 math. <laughs> It basically means fasting or like eating in moderation. And um, let's just say it's not easy. Okay. So like it's like eating with extreme mindfulness and eating once a day and like all these different things. My hair is like super oily and like doing like all this really weird stuff. I tried brushing, believe it or not, I brushed it already and then like this is just what it did after. Like. I did kind of sleep with her in a, like, hair tie. <sighs> I feel you more than you could ever know. More than you can ever know. I'm an empath. I'm processing all the data that is here right now. Even though you are experiencing this right now. I work exceptionally best doing like one-on-one -on -one encounterships. I mean, I do great with groups and parties too. So if you want to come at me with like, all right, here's my family. Like, this is what's up. This is the bigger picture. And I'll be like, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, and, like be able to understand all the pieces. <sighs> Seeking comfort in my Penelope. <sighs> well, also like battling um, like all these different paths right like there is the non-attachment path <laughs> ah the two plants on the table are feeling down they missed you i think you should talk to them a bit <laughs> i just received that text <laughs> yes my plants so how funny it is that I have these friends. One of them was also exceptionally dehydrated and yeah, had a lot to say. It's growing a lot in the pot that it's in. Um, 
maybe I should do a live stream. Like, there's just so much. I just had a blast, a blast, a blast, a blast. Like, my mind is just completely blown. You know what I mean? Um, I'm mainly mind blown by the experience of love and, like, truly learning what love is. Pilgrimage of Love will, will show you this too. Osho's book on love is also phenomenal. I also love the Pia Melody on love addiction. Um, I apologize to all of you that have been through such extremities. I understand. I understand the pain that you have experienced. And it's unfortunate that in order to gain the strength and wisdom and courage and knowledge and power that you now contain came with that price tag. However, it's important to understand the power of life and aging and what's really going on. <sighs> <sighs> mind you I am doing this for free attempting to give as much as I possibly can though like something I'm learning about myself right now is that it might be best for me to like journal and to like write things down and then read it out loud or something like that I mean I just have so much contained oh my god I have so much to share with you like I'm like not even sure if I'll have the honor of living and being able to just tell so much and I would like to make specific episodes dedicated to each and every thing, basically is the idea instead of making like, right, we got like this 16 minute video going on right now. But yes! <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a matter of time that you spend with someone that you really get to know someone. I think what's going on is something much more deep and intricate which I think is like, um, let's see if I can paint a, like a visual picture. Like look how different this person is. And then look how different this person is. And then notice how they don't want to be friends and they don't want to talk and they don't want to associate with one another. Okay, let's try to go there. Now let's think about how far removed they are and what each other have to learn in order to finally meet and mingle on the same page. God meets God. Different eye, different lens, comes together. What, what space is in between that needs to be understood? What topics should we go into? Should we go into the creation of life? Or doing genetic modification? Or ending aging? Or doing robotics? Like, all this infinite time and space and data. And then I can't help but think of like a quantum computer that has like been uploaded every neuroscience book and every every book that ever existed like imagining a computer that knows all that information processes all of it as truth and then comes to its own deep collection of gathering of knowledge and then using that computer system to create generated outputs after seeking select questions from the quantum computer <sighs> oh, i feel sick i feel sick i feel sick Ugh. There's so much purging energy that needs to be done. So much, so much, so much like sickened thoughts. Sickened thoughts, the demented, the violence, the, the self-hatred, the, the desire to create. Like what are you doing with your time and your energy? Like you've put a price tag on it. Like who are you? Who are you? It's very complicated. <sighs> much more of a pasana than needed. I am going to attempt to do a 10 day retreat and get away. Um, so much needs to be done. I love you so much, ho'oponopono. I'll be back and give you more free time. If you like this video, send 1914. <laughs> Bye.